When I moved here, I went out there and just cried. I told Mother Earth and Father Sky to protect us from the Iranian. Don't do us harm. Forgive us for living here next to this poison. It means a lot to me to bless yourself and forgive yourself. Oh, well. Is there enough light, you think? Yeah, it's getting there. People living around it and they'll get sick later. It's bad for everyone. When the sun comes up, when it shines on you, sort of like your rebirth. Here. Well. <laughs> Here, John. means forgive me or forgive people. Like, Nahandan ah for what they have done to you. Wow. That's the best one ever. It's behind that first mound. I try to look beyond to the beautiful mesas out that way. It's part of my therapy. This is all contaminated due to wind and water movement of the topsoils. When I bought the property, I made an offer on and then somebody told me in Gallup, they said, oh, that's by the uranium mill. And he said, you ought to be careful. I went online and looked up the EPA website for Homestake, and they said it was going to be cleaned up by 2003, and this was 01, so. The more I found out, the more horrified I got because it didn't make sense to me. The first 10 years after they discovered the wells were contaminated, they didn't do anything. The source of the contamination is the pile. They didn't put it on lining or anything to protect the groundwater, and that's where the problems are. When I asked them, what are you going to do with that? They said, well, eventually we'll, we'll let the ponds dry and then we'll sweep up the contamination and put it back on top of the pile. I was worried, you know, living here. I grew up in a remote area where no one's around. We used to plant squash and corn and stuff. They don't grow anymore. There's a health risk. So I left right out of high school. Got it. Yay. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. This is my daughter. <laughs> my dad had died of stomach cancer from the downwinder. I got tested recently for radiation. It's just a piece of paper that I can't understand. I had to take it to my doctor. I still had to do like cancer screen every year. 
I've been having issues, but it's not up to the surface yet. I wanted to live here, be closer to the sacred mountain. We may have to relocate because of the poison, but this is where John wanted to be. I love this place, I really do. As an artist, you, you find something that calms the soul. This was a life-changing event for me to move here. The view of the mountain was important to me. They don't take any of that into consideration or the disruption to your life. I've been waiting for months and months. I finally got an offer in writing. Most things are out of my price range. And I've let the home state people know that unless you're going to give me more money, you're not giving me a choice to move. That tears me up probably more than anything. For years, all the radioactive dust from the mill blew all over the place. They bought up most of the land downwind from the mill site because of that. I think they want everyone out, so I feel sad that everybody's leaving this area. It's probably going to be nothing here if everybody moves out of here. Like a ghost town, 